guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and today we'll be checking out build update number one on the brand new Techno RC MT410. Now, of course, this is Techno's newest fangled kit, their one-tenth scale monster truck. So I had a chance to go ahead and put the Techno MT410 together. I actually was able to do it all in one day and, you know, with different interruptions during out the day, but was able to go ahead and get this thing completely put together. Now, what's so nice about Techno kits is they are so straightforward and easy to build, and that's what makes this kit so nice. So starting with the owner's manual, this thing is so well laid out. It gives you one-to-one -one dimensions of different parts. And what I really like about Techno's kits is they give you everything to assemble bag A in bag A. There's no hunting for parts. Everything is all in those individual bags for each step. So almost basically a page per bag. So right here, it gives you a full layout. You have step A1, A2, A3, A4, and bag A is done. Throughout the owner's manual, there's different notes and steps, and they give you some pretty good clear direction on how everything's assembled. Now, this is a somewhat monochromatic type of photos for the diagrams, but in the end, it is very, very nice. And you'll note all the different notes right here, different uh, profiles of how to install things, just overall a great owner's manual. Now to assemble the MT410 kit, you'll need a few tools. The main tools you'll need are a 1.5, a 2.0, and a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench set. Also a 5.5 and a 7.0 hex nut driver. To make the kit go even easier, I selected a few supplement items that definitely make it easier to build. A good set of six inch calipers, a 17 millimeter hex wrench, a pair of shock shaft pliers, and a four millimeter arm reamer made everything work perfectly. All of the fluids needed to build the MT410 from Techno was included in the kit, including thread lock, black grease, diff fluid, and shock fluid. What I also added to the build was some Premier Blue O-ring grease from Protec RC. Also another viable item is the team associated green slime. So what's left over in the kit, you do have several different options for pills for the suspension arm holders to get you different geometries that you may desire. You have additional body posts to get you a little bit different offset or if you happen to be running a particular body that you want to bypass maybe the windshield or certain parts of the body, you can do so. You do have four additional diff shims that I did not feel I need to have those in the diffs. My this fit absolutely perfect. A couple of extra spacers for, once again, the geometry for the wheelbase, and you do have a couple extra horns. I installed the 25 tooth. Overall, the kit went together absolutely great. All of the part fitment was perfect. There was no missing parts. Everything fit exactly as it stated in the owner's manual. Starting on the front end, we have the giant 16 millimeter shocks up here. They were just a pleasure to build. The owner's manual assembly instructions was spot on. We do have CNC'd aluminum shock towers, universals going out on all four points, actually. You do have CNC machined hinge pin holders on all four points of the vehicle. You have an aluminum Ackerman bar up here. Everything is just top notch quality on this monster truck. The rear end is much of the same as the front. We have a little bit longer rear shocks here, all the same specs, universals. You do have front and rear sway bars that are pre-existing on this kit. Everything was super, super nice. Looking into the center diff right here, the motor mount, all CNC machined aluminum, very, very nice. Probably one of my favorite motor mounts on the market. The center drive line and throughout the vehicle is super smooth. Everything is bind free and this is a super smooth drivetrain. Up here on the steering assembly, it is super smooth. There is no slop on this steering assembly whatsoever. This has been definitely refined over the years, all the way back to the original SCT-410. 
the Techno line of vehicles have very narrow chassis. They have everything kind of merged into a five inch section with of that truggy chassis. The battery box is pretty simple. It can accommodate up to a large 6S LiPo, multiple batteries, whatever you wanna throw at it. You have two crossway Velcro straps and a one that goes from stem to stern. So pretty easy battery box and it's definitely well appreciated. Lastly, a look underneath the MT410. Of course we have that machined aluminum chassis. We have completely almost solid a-arms on front and rear, huge cutouts right here so we get some pretty good steering angles on the front and overall just a great design from Techno RC. As far as electronics that I'll be running in my MT410, went to my friends at Tekken Electronics and I'll be running a 4038 Truggy motor. Now this is the larger canned motor for their T8 line and just overall a great motor. Uh, this should have some pretty good torque for the MT410 and uh, it, it is the 2000 kV version. As far as speed control, of course the RX-8 Gen 2, uh, pretty much a tried and proven uh, speed control for almost any application out there. This was actually from my EB48.3 going to test it out in the MT410. As far as radio system, I've been waiting to use this new 4PV from Futaba, and this is definitely the right vehicle for it. Nice little receiver for it as well. And as far as servos, I was kind of tossed on the servo to put in this, and I have this thing that I have had here for a little time now. This is the new high-tech 951TW. This thing is pretty cool. This has an, a completely aluminum shell all the way around. And as far as specs on this thing, a little bit slow at 0.14 seconds, but it cranks out at almost 500 ounce inches of torque at 486. So pretty decent servo and I think it should do pretty well in this monster truck. All right guys, well that is my build update number one on my Techno RC MT410 monster truck. Stay tuned for the next episode where you'll find out the body and the wheels and tires that I've chosen for this thing. They're pretty cool items and I can't wait to show you. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this video, feel free to leave it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.